Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix Online Meeting 245. Just a few days before Halloween. Halloween's a very exciting day, at least around here for my daughter. She's excited to go run around and grab um, candy dressed as a cheetah this year. This meeting is recorded for you, those of you that are not with us right here, right now. And for those of you that are here, Zach, Ron, Jacob, it's great to see you. Anybody else, feel free to say hi. Let's talk about what we're talking about today. Uh, we're doing triage because we just kind of need to stay on top of our bugs. And then we'll talk about Wix v4 status uh, because Halloween's right around the corner. And then uh, we'll take questions, comments like we always do. So since we have plenty of things to cover, let's go jump into triage. Bob, you ready? Uh, let me roll for initiative. Yep, I made it. All right, initiative. All right. That means you lead, right? Oh, no, wait. Um... No, I didn't think this one through, did I? <laughs> uh, we'll just say I got the higher number. Uh, okay. 6937 UI Compiler Custom Actions Duplication. This is back to triage, I think. This has been solved. We talked about this last week about this fix not being perfect, but better than the way it was before the fix. Yeah, it's not back to triage it all right it's still in triage never removed it is there anything um, else to talk about you open no, this I opened, issue yeah i opened another issue yes uh, and that tracks the okay. problem there. all right i think we are done with this one and that which needs to be done is tracked in another issue all right test regression on arm 64 uh so this bug is fixed in that uh, the test is fixed because there's a deficiency in the test. It wasn't, it was not doing everything that the main line, it was bypassing the main line code and thus not replicating important parts of the main line code. So the unit test was blowing up in this case. But from this, it raises the issue that we are falling back to x86 Wix on ARM64. So in your build, in your build, we are using an x86 Wix to do build operations. If you build an ARM64 package, that will all be ARM64, all that's good. So this is only in your build on an ARM64 machine. We are falling back to x86. And through this discussion, it you know kind of came to a point, like I think it would be ideal if we shipped, uh, where did I? Yeah, uh, to ship an ARM, uh, 64 wix.exe and so I, I thought I could just turn that on and the build system is not working. The .NET build system does not recognize ARM64 native binaries so it's not copying the ARM64 native binaries. So I left this open for triage. The ARM64 testing is unblocked using x86 wix and I wanted to discuss in triage how much work we want to try to do to get ARM64 Wix built in Wix 4. Uh, this is an issue on uh, framework in this build, correct? Correct. Uh, yes, that is another clarification. The, the ARM64 all works for .NET 6 Wix, does not work for .NET framework, Wix, we have all the native binaries built. It's just the build system's not laying them out. So it's just a, it's a going and figuring out the build system. And it was a major pain getting what we have working. So maybe it's redoing that because it's all hacked up or maybe it's hacking it up more to support ARM64 in a case that's not just working the way it seems like it should work. Um, it just kind of comes down to a, how much should we push on this? I was curious if other people were like, you know, we really, really should get an ARM64, or if people were like, eh, x86, wow, is fine for Wix 4, and we'll try this again later. I was just trying to get a temperature reading mostly. Well, can people disable wow on ARM64? I don't know. I mean, that would be the reason to ship it. Yeah, I'm more thinking in the future if they disable it, but I mean. Yeah, it's it's hard to do it on client OSs, which I don't know off the top of my head if 
any current Windows Server supports ARM64. I just don't pay attention to that world anymore. I'm happy to get out of it. Um, Got to imagine that like the latest Windows Server would support ARM64, but I don't know that that's the case. And I mentioned server only because it's much easier to disable WoWs on server than it is on client. Not that it's difficult. It's just, you know, not a checkbox kind of thing. Uh, but ARM64 is also complicated by the fact that there's x64 on ARM64. Wow, A64? I don't know what to call it. I don't either. Uh, ARM64 can emulate both x86 and x64. So, you know, they're kind of double covered. Um, again, unless that subsystem gets removed. And I don't know what it's like to remove x64 emulation on ARM. I don't know that you can uh, because that kind of ties in with the whole ARM64 EC thing. Mm -hmm. it's so complicated. It is. It's complicated, yeah. Uh, so I don't know that it's even possible. If it is, then I agree we're in that state where it's possible you know, to run into this. Um, it, it's, I'm also wondering if it's possible that, uh, because ARM64 was only supported in desktop, uh, .NET Framework um, as of 4.8.1, which came out recently. Yeah, very recently. Last so um, something I'm wondering is whether .NET 7 We'll fix it because .NET 6 came out before Framework 4.8.1. Meaning that, you know, in Wix 5, for example, if we switch to .NET 7 or .NET 8, whatever, um, this might just start working without any additional effort. Yeah, no, I think yeah. the problem is on our build logic. Like, we, we have... We have a directory .build .targets in the Wix folder where we're explicitly copying the assets when it's .NET Framework. So I think we just need to add two more lines for ARM64. If it's that easy, that'd be great. I, I just, I didn't get into it enough because I had so many other things going. If it really is that easy, then we should just do that. Um, I, I when I just took a quick look, I was like, it felt like things were in the right place and they weren't getting dropped in. But I told him I did not dig into it deeper than that to go. Uh, is it really just two lines? After I refactored some code a few months ago, yeah, it really is. Really should be that easy. All right. Well, um, if you ever all the ARM sixty four stuff should be built. Can you try it right now while we're talking about the rest of the issues? Like, will that kill your machine <laughs> and your audio start dropping? I mean, if you could try um, to put those in yeah, real quick and build, it's just because we, we'll be able to tell in the publish folder if the ARM64 binaries are there, then it's working because everything else is close to working. But do I have the right software to build ARM64 in the first place yeah. on that not framework? Yeah, it should just work. So the build's happening from. Well, don't you okay. don't you need a specific version of .NET Framework to be able to build a .NET Framework ARM64? I don't think so. Because it didn't support it until 4.8.1. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know what they changed there, um, but we we're, we're building several other things, and so I'm curious if it just works. What I was seeing was that the native code binaries were not being laid out properly. And didn't that's go... part of the .NET build. That's part of our build in the way that we're using all of the um, the native runtime referencing stuff. And I was like, okay, I don't have time to dig in this. I have too many other things. So I just wanted to come back to it. If it really is just the two lines to get everything copied and it's just missing them, then that would be great. I could try to do it here. It's, it's Merge Mod and, and Wix native, right? Yeah. yeah. I think it's just those two. I yeah. think the cube files are in the right place. Um, then I agree with Sean. I'm just looking at directory build targets. 
for copying those for x64 and x86 and not for all right so it's even easier than i looked <laughs> i think so yeah i went too hard based off of my bad experience before i can probably do it here let's see uh, although i'm streaming at the same time maybe i shouldn't <laughs> oh yes because you have so few cores in your well you're right machine. it probably should work too i don't know um uh, yeah, I'll just drop it here in the bottom corner. Which file? And I'll just kick it up. Source, Source Wix. Wix. Directory build targets. Source Wix directory build dot targets. And we're missing the arm. To copy these. Yeah, we're already doing it for. Huh. for It'd be nice. Frame, or for. .NET Core. All right. Oh, God, they need a new name. It's uh, terrible. Non-framework.net, and we're just not doing it for framework.net. All right, cool. Um, I'm going to call it .NET Core, even though I, they don't like that. I, 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 yeah, every time I do, I was talking to these Microsoft guys that had this Win64 machine, which is where this is coming from, and they were like, what are you talking about? There is, what? 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 No, not .NET Core. .NET 6. I'm like, oh my gosh, you guys are killing me. The naming of this is just terrible. Well, you don't want to know how much I considered opening a bug saying that we should rename the NetFX extension to .NET extension. Oh, oh God. <laughs> like uh, I said, I thought about it. I didn't do it yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, here we are doing software development while it's in. All right. So... I'm just trying to figure out this extra logic here. The runtime identifier equals blank. Cut. Oh, and there's no, okay, fine. That should be, that's probably for the tests. I don't know if I got this syntax right. All right, we're gonna see if that build runs while I'm in the background with all the other things I have on my machine. All right. Okay, we'll take a swig at it. Sounds like it's worth it. And if it is that simple, and that's the two things that I missed amongst all the other things, then yeah, we'll just take it. All righty then. Um, that was 6960. We're now looking at 6967. Error while signing bundle with Insignia. And, oh, this is fixed as part of Wix 4. I don't know why I didn't take triage off of this. No. Oh, already fixed. Good. Yeah, this was already fixed in Wix 4. And I don't know. I should have taken triage. Off. All right. Um, 6968. Manage custom actions show warnings on dependencies of load project. So I was going through and testing things and the using a custom action, a C sharp project, using the new NuGets for doing managed custom actions. And a little warning dialogue will show up in dependencies due to the fact that the custom ta target to run the SFX processing, post processing was failing during the load of project. So it's just a matter of not running that target until the assembly is built and everything works out. So I actually have a fix for this. Um, and that's what that issue is. And I left on triage just in case people want to talk about it. But it's pretty straightforward and it makes everything work properly. You don't get these weird erroneous errors in your build log when you just open the project using these things. So that's that. Um, this is another one found while playing with conversions, uh, 6969. Uh, source line numbers on converted messages I'll refer to the original source. This is uh, most strange when it says, hey, you fix this, and then you try to open that line and that line's not there anymore or very much not near the line. Um, so if you're saving the source file, then uh, the goal was to change, update the line numbers so that they point to things that still exist and remove line numbers for files that don't exist. For example, we remove lots of white space or, you know, Declarations, we don't keep a line number that say, hey, we remove this line. If you go to that line number, you're like, uh, that's like the Wix element <laughs> when you remove the namespace declaration. So it cleans up source line numbers. Um, I was inspired by all of Ron's cleanup and this of making very beautiful white space changes in source code looks much better. So fixing the line numbers is the next good thing. Uh, that happens before the error message is printed? Correct. Okay, okay. 
Correct. It it fixes it rewrites the source line number on all the messages. Cool. Um, and it was terrible. Much harder to implement than I thought it would be. Um, because because space and XML is terrible. Um, Wixel files use inner text as their value for localized strings. I don't know how I missed this. This has been sitting here for a long time. We've, we're moving away from inner text. So uh, I've updated the uh, converter to use the value attribute, or yeah, so instead of the inner text. And then um, the tests, I believe, and I haven't, this is not completed, but uh, the, because I think the tests have found that I forgot Wixel files are used at runtime for theme util, so I have to go fix up theme util um, and write that test as well. So that's what I have left to do, which is holding up the commit of these three PRs here. But I am going to get that very shortly to put all that together. How's my three issues from the week of using Wix and trying to get these things going to be done? Bob, we now enter your 6971 schemas for DirectX and UI extensions are slightly missing? Slightly missing? Well, yeah, they're at least slightly missing. <laughs> they're entirely missing, but that is, you know, a superset of slightly missing. All right. Uh, so we have to go get them from what, three and update them? No, they don't exist. Um, what? These are... These are two extensions that in V3 did not have a compiler extension. Oh. So there's no there's no schema to start from. All right. Um, that made me sad. Okay. Yeah. These because need to be written. Any fun in working in XML, it all goes away with XSD, which is like XML on evil steroids. All right. Yeah, we need to do this. Um, yep. <sighs> yep. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Uh, 6972, Wix standard VA should not, shouldn't set Wix bundle file version. Bob? Um, yeah, it's actually a bad title. Um, you know, we don't have namespaces or variables, um, but the that it was setting Wix bundle, um, which is used in a prefix like manner in a bunch of built-in variables uh, from burnt from the engine um, I'm suggesting that you know like Wix standard BA language ID which is another one I discovered in document documentation uh, either Wix bundle file version should be something set by the engine or it should be Wix standard BA bundle file version or something like that Sean, I don't any, have any, strong feelings either way. I don't either. The They're engine new, sets Wix things? bundle version, I think. Um, they're new, aren't they? So we can just change no. them without worrying. Uh, no, they're not new. No. Both both of those um, were in the V3 documentation, which is what I'm working on and how I discovered it. That's unfortunate. Um, yeah, it is. Um, it's, I'm a little confused, concerned. It's only, it's from Wix standard BA. So the only place it's going to be used is in someone's theme, right? I'm not, I mean, it's coming from BA, from the BA. So it's not something that someone writing a custom BA is going to be relying on. So I'm guessing it's just supposed to be decorative in in a theme somewhere. Now why someone would use that, the file version, as opposed to the bundle version, I probably don't want to think too much about. <laughs> So actually, I'm going to come down and say, yeah, that's really weird, and so should not be something that the engine does. Yeah, the engine it's, shouldn't do it. It's it's way too edgy of a case. On the other hand, renaming it is kind of unfortunate because we don't currently process themes in Wix Convert, so. 
That would be a lot of work. Yeah. 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 <laughs> not suggesting it. I said we, we don't. Not that we don't yet. I don't know. I I, I I opened the issue just because I saw it and it, you know, set off my rather weak spidey senses. I don't have strong feelings about the the actual you know, prefix or name entirely. So if the overall feeling is meh, I'm fine resolving this as I'm not going to do. Okay. All I right. have no opinion. That... Neither meh. I am I, zero. Pure zero. Wow. Not even a meh. Wow. Mm -mm. Pure zero. All right. I have not thought deeply enough it. about it. <laughs> I, it. It's it's purely a bit of retentiveness on my nature, and so I'm fine leaving it. It has been there for some amount of time. Well, yeah, Jacob, I, I that's kind of where I was leaning, is that we should rename it to be consistent. Well, there are two examples. So they're inconsistent with each other. I would argue it makes sense to have the BA um, use its own prefix to avoid confusion with any built-in variables. Um, if this were you know, a more useful value, then I would say let's just stuff it in the in the engine. But I'm sitting here going, wait, why does why would you have a file the file version of of the bundle XE be different from the bundle version? That's just that's just looking for trouble. That's just being contrarian for some reason. Um, so I'm like, I don't I don't really care. I would say the, the engine should not set it. Um, the problem is if we change it, and like I mentioned, Wix convert doesn't look at, at theme files, there's no, there's no attempt to, you know, notify the user. So <clears throat> that said, it is, you know, going to be a purely decorative thing. Uh, probably purely decorative thing in v3 it can only be a decorative thing um so it would be something someone would notice but i don't i don't have strong enough feelings to actually you know do the work so i'm perfectly fine and just leaving this as as is i don't know when it was introduced but it was in v3 so I kind of rather deal 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 with my you know unpleasant feeling at the inconsistency with um, than dealing with someone complaining that we broke them. So bye bye. Yeah, yeah, I'm closing it. All right, and that's the end of triage today. A uh, quick update while all of this is going on, and I push the right buttons. Oh, wait, Jacob says, if we don't break it now, it lives for all of it 4X, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm suggesting it lives forever. It, it's fine. It is truth. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, frankly, at this point, if I'm going to change it, I'm going to remove it. I, I just don't, you know, it's just, I don't, I don't. I don't like the thing. I don't want to, you know, <laughs> to an extent, it's like making it more consistent is just, you know, giving the Bob stamp of approval and you don't get the Bob stamp of approval on just anything. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, quick update. The it looks like the arm 64 has built, which means I can go back on six, nine, six, zero here. And the files are in the right place, which means I can do this and we can try to push it again uh, quickly. So it was just that I got all the other ARM64 set up in my ARM64 branch, but I missed 
this placement of the two files. Now that I found the magical placement of these two files, it looks like everything's working. So we will probably have native, well, barring this not working, we will have native ARM64 support for ARM64 Windows, which should only have net 481 on it in the end. It, that's the way it seems to be all coming together. So there you go. There's the update on the ARM64 thing. We will very likely have a native uh, Wix, .NET Framework Wix for ARM64. Woo, all right. Triage is done. Let's move on. Today's sad news that I, I, I mourned yesterday and I think I'm feeling better about it today. Uh, Wix V4 status, preview one is close. Very, very, very close. Um, I think we probably could be co-complete by Halloween. Um, we'd be rushing it. We'd be slamming a bunch of things in at the last minute, um, working hard over the weekend to get everything in and we probably could do it. But as Bob pointed out to me a couple days ago, two days ago, a day and a half ago, something like that, not that long ago, our documentation will just not be, it, it won't be nearly sufficient. I don't know exactly the words were that he used. I kind of went into mourning as soon as he suggested it, and I knew he was right. Enough I, has I changed. This, this effect on people. <laughs> Enough has changed in Wix 4, particularly in the way that you get the bits, but even all over the place that uh, we need to get the documentation in a better spot for it to... Um, or it'll just be a mess. We just shouldn't do that. And and the more I thought about it, the more I was like, we're racing for Halloween to try to get something in by the end of the year. And as I started mapping out the end of the year, it just didn't matter. So it's better for us to uh, slip a couple of weeks and uh, get a better preview one out. So what does that mean? What does that look like? That means let's give ourselves 11 days, go to never, November 11th, we'll slip to the next holiday, uh, national holiday, Veterans Day. I originally proposed on November 10th, which is Sesame Street Day, but Sean noted that Veterans Day is more widely recognized, so we might do that one. So that's what we'll do. November 11th, preview one will come out. That gives us uh, the amount of time we think that uh, since expectation is that we will have all the bugs like taken care of by Monday, that'll give us at least me uh, and to help with Bob a good week and a half, uh, almost two weeks of just typing in the XSDs, fixing the XSDs and other documentation all over the place to make Wix 4 better. It will not be complete. We'll not have all documentation done, but it will be at least, you'll be able to have the right getting started information as opposed to what we would go out now. It'd be like, here, it's available. And everybody immediately go, and how do I use it? So we'll at least have the getting started things. Now, as was pointed out at the end of the meeting last week, uh, .NET, the model that I've been kind of looking at that we've been trying to more adopt is the .NET Core model, the .NET Teams uh, model. And it was pointed out that somehow I had erased RCs from my memory that they did them, but they do. And so I was like, that's fine. So they do previews. So we'll do, we did previews here, we're doing preview one, but we need to get in the RCs because we didn't like do lots of previews before. Maybe we should have. We'll look at that for the next release, but that we are done. We need to get into releases. And so my thinking is we'll do a release December 16th, RC1, mostly as a mechanism for us to start testing, to validating our the RC process for us, running the mechanisms that are the build process, the release process, not the build process, the release process. Uh, things like that, mostly like back office stuff for me. Um, cause I don't know how many bugs we'll get between veterans day and December 16th, but that's fine. Whatever we get that we can fix in that time frame, we'll do it. And we'll turn the crank in December 16th. And the message still is we're done as soon as the bugs are done. Whatever we feel, whenever we hit the point where we're like, you know what, we've got the bugs we need to get fixed. We're done. And .NET does RCs about every month. So uh, that seems like something we might do, assuming that, you know, I think the practice will be good on December 16th, maybe practice again mid-January, um, or if we have a bunch of bugs, then we definitely will do it. Um, and then RTM as quickly as possible out that. 
after that. So it really comes down to how quickly do we think we found all the bugs knowing that we're giving this to people over the holidays, which some cases might be good. People are like, hey, I can absorb some large changes over the holidays because less is going on in my business. Or people are like, no, everybody's gone. I can't do these kind of changes and we'll get nothing. I don't know what we're going to get, but we need to get in RC mode. So that's the goal. That's the plan. We will have preview one out on November 11th. That's a big deal because it really is code complete. We're done. We think we're done. Um, it technically speaking could be RC one. I thought about renaming it, but then I decided I talked about preview one enough that just having that disappear would probably be a bad idea. So we will then quickly do RC one on December 16th. We'll do RCs roughly monthly after that until we are TM, which if we only did one RC and we're like, Hey, everybody says it looks good. Then that would be great. I, I don't know if that's the way it's going to go down, but if it did, We'd be done early January. It'll be as quickly as possible to finish Wix 4. So any kind of questions about that? I hope it's pretty clear. I hope there's nothing like to you guys that have been following along regularly. I don't hope there's no real surprises here. Um, Jacob, you got a little extra time on the one issue open to you. Um, uh, you got a, an extra two weeks. Uh, to get that done. And I think the rest of us have ours in that aren't build related or doc related issues, right? They're all kind of got PRs floating around for them, which is great. I mean, we're in a, we're in a pretty good spot. Now it's just a matter of finishing. All right. That's great, Jacob. Two days will work out fine. You will benefit from the November 11th. No, and have to slam everything in on Halloween trying to meet that date. We are going for November 11th and then after that bug fixes until RTM. So um, that's what we're looking at. Anything people want to talk about? Other stuff, things related to that? Uh, once we get past preview one and see how that goes, breathe a little bit, do Thanksgiving kind of thing, if you're in the States at least, um, and then do uh, RC1, and then we'll see what things are going on the holidays. Then we'll start looking forward based on how many bugs we have. We'll start thinking about what does Wix 5 look like, because we will jump right into that um, outside of the release plan. All right. People don't have anything else. That's the state of the world. November 11th, Veterans Day is our big release. And then bug fixes after that. Not that it hasn't been mostly bug fixes in that time frame anyway, but there we go. All right. So, yeah. So, Zach, your, your point of, yeah, having 300, 600 solid projects spanning a, de a decade, appreciate feedback on how those work. Absolutely. Uh, no, actually, I'd, I would love the feedback in preview one. Like, you, you're here enough. There's not going to be a big difference between preview one and ours. Preview one and RC one in reality, except bug fixes. So if just report them against preview one. And if anything, just run the Wix converter on all of the code and tell us the things that it does not fix, right? Just run the Wix converter on it and then try to run the code. And whatever the, if you, I, I'm expecting we'll get a lot of information about Wix converter not catching things. And we will take that information and then repro it, try to get those bugs and go from there. And then hopefully, yeah, you can compile code and things like that. Um, and so on and so forth. So yes. And if you could do all of your source code through conversion, cause that's an easy start at the root and just convert everything, do that. And then maybe pick a couple projects to like do the whole, try to build um, all the way from top to bottom. If you can, and then, I mean, that, that's the ideal is run the converter on all of your code. And then, cause you could run that and then just revert whatever it does. Um, report any things that doesn't do well and then revert that code right back to where you were. No harm, no foul. Um, and then for some projects, convert them and try to then try to build them and see how things go. That'll be a thing. But don't you need to build it to figure out what the converter missed? Um, I don't, maybe, but there might be things like it dies or it doesn't work or... <laughs> Yeah. Well, Actually, I'm curious about the things that it knows it won't convert. That, that too. 
how many of those do we hit? Yeah, so I, I having the converter run and not crash on a whole bunch of code, that's one level of interestingness, on, especially on something as large as $300, $600 projects. It's like, yes, that'll be a great uh, battery to run against the converter, and it should be cheap. If it doesn't die, then yeah, go into something and try to build it. Um, be the next thing. So, yes. So, Zach, your question there is exactly what I'm going trying to distill into a message for Preview 1 and get out to everybody. Please, I know it says Preview 1, but try to pick this up and find as much as you can because RCs are coming right around the corner, fast and furious, and we want to try to find as much stuff right away. Um, so that is the message to go out that will work to send out clearly uh, as preview one comes out. Another reason why the extra 11 days on the schedule helps that we can just kind of breathe a little more and get some more of that kind of content put together uh, clearly so it goes out at the same time the preview goes out instead of coming out days after, um, which is, I guess, where we're going to end up before. Uh, anything else? Fill in space, make sure people have a chance to get all their uh, questions in. Um, that's all I have. Pretty clear where we're at. Um, I have a few more code changes, and then I get to go spend most of my time doing uh, doc-related things, which is where there's a big, well, it's a big deficit that, you know, dug, so I need to go undig it. So that's fine. Good things. All right. I filled space, filled time. Uh, we will be back. Oh, that's the other thing about the 11th. I forgot to mention. Uh, we have a meeting right before it. So should something go horribly wrong in the next uh, 12, 13, 15 days uh, to the 11th, um, we have a meeting on the 10th planned. This time, 9.30, Thursday, November 10th, we can uh, talk about it. And hopefully we're all sitting around like, hey, look, we did all this documentation. Here's the amount that we have done. Uh, here's a whole bunch of things that will still be remaining to do. And we're going to go start pushing a bunch of buttons tomorrow to release preview one to the world. I, uh, that gives us that meeting on Thursday uh, just before it to do that final check-in. So that's what we'll do two weeks from now, same time, same place. And we will have the... Um, <laughs> Hopefully the final discussions about preview one and making it happen. So until then, I got nothing else. You guys have a good time. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.